Please stand for prayer and pledge of allegiance. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Dan Jerky. And I'm Cole Cromer. So, Dan, I heard you went to Kairos last week. How was that? It was pretty good. The food was eh, but um, there was these old creepy wooden rocking chairs in our room, so we had to put those outside in the hallway. Rocking chairs? Yes, these were the old rocking chairs with like a knitted blanket on it, and you thought you were going to wake up in the middle of the night, and a ghost was going to be sitting there rocking back and forth. Well, I heard you can't talk about Kairos, though. Well. If not, uh, Mr. Sternberg will be down here in a couple minutes yelling at me, so. I am not going if there are those PB rocking chairs there. You have to go to graduate. Every grade has a retreat starting with kindergarten now. Okay, then I'm going to the kindergarten without the crazy rocking chairs. <laughs> Alright, let's just switch it. What's coming up? Thanksgiving? Well, more important than Thanksgiving. Oh, the Ohio State and Michigan game. Yeah. Let's go to Brendan for his two cents on the Ohio State and Michigan game. Michigan plays Ohio State on November 30th in the big house at 12 o'clock. And Michigan is favored by three and both teams are ranked inside the top 15. This game is looking to be a great one. And Ohio State has won the past seven in the series, but Michigan still leads 58-50 with eight ties. It's the biggest game of the year for both teams and it has major playoff implications. If Ohio State wins, they will likely move on to the Big Ten Championship. And some key players for Ohio State are quarterback Justin Fields, who is a transfer from Georgia, and wide receiver Chris Olave, running back J.K. Dobbins, and Heisman candidate Chase Young. He was supposed to not be able to play in this game because he was suspended for four games, but the NCAA reduced his suspension by two games. Some key players to watch for Michigan are freshman Zach Charbonnet, sophomore Ronnie Bell, Michigan's leading receiver, quarterback Shea Patterson, who is an Ohio native, and Cam McGrone, who has made a great replacement for the first round draft pick, Devin Bush. This game is looking like it's going to be a great one, and it will be remembered for decades. My prediction is that Michigan will win 28 to 27 in a very close game. Back to you, Dan and Cole. Those are some crazy predictions. Michigan win? Yeah, I think Ohio State will win, but we can't underestimate them. Nah, I think it's going to be like 47 to 14. Nah, yeah. I think it'll be a little closer than that because Michigan has nothing to lose and it's at their home field. Well, I bet social media has a lot of predictions. Yeah, let's go to our social media expert, Dr. Um, Fit Fitzroe. Fitzroe. Something, something like that. Thank you guys. I'm Dr. Fitzbro, and I am an expert in social media. I've actually been studying since 1976, and today I found a few trends that are kind of disturbing for the upcoming game. Let's take a look. Here's Facebook. In this photo, you can really see how much work they're putting in for uh, the next big game. Um, at least they're not using steroids, which you know is illegal. So uh, let's go to Instagram. So the, uh, you, you can see the fans are really uh, getting into it on and off the field. I just really hope they wash their hands. But uh, off to the next one, uh, YouTube.
As you can see, um, you know, Michigan's really doing great in the girl department. At least she's a cheerleader, but um, as you can see from all social media accounts, it looks like Ohio State will be blowing out Michigan. Back to you guys. Those are some interesting facts from Dr. Fit, Dr. Fitzroy, Fitzroy. Something like that. All right. Cole, what are you doing with the hat on? Damn, what are you doing with that hat on? Well, this is our hats off segment. You're right, it is. Hats off to Mr. Weichel for recognizing us for the number one St. Mary's show, Good Morning Panther, in the entire world. And hats off to myself and the rest of the honor roll students. You know what's coming up, Cole? Thanksgiving? Yeah, what's your, what are you thankful for? Um, I'm thankful for my family. What is your favorite part about Thanksgiving? Probably all the food and just coming together as a family. Um, we also uh, got parent-teacher conference Monday after school and uh, Tuesday morning. And don't come to school the next day because nobody's going to be here. This is Good Morning Panther, and I'm Dan Jerky. And I'm Cole Cromer. Signing off.